tips on getting your CDL license in California. So first of all, you need to get a dot physical. You can't just go to your regular doctor for this. Just Google dot physical and there's places that do just that and they pretty much have their own doctor there. They'll do a physical on you and then they give you the physical, your dot card if you pass. So you need that and then study because you need to pass the written tests. There's also practice tests on the DMV website so go ahead and practice those and also read the booklet that they have on there. CDL prep. Figure out if you want to drive interstate, which is crossing borders, or intrastate, which is staying in just California, because they're going to ask you that when you go apply at the DMV to take your test, your written test. And what you need to take to go apply is an ID, proof of address, it can be like a bill, and your social. You will need to decide which type of CDL license you want. There's class A, which is more for semis, class B, more for like livestock, and if you want to carry passengers, if you want to drive like a school bus, something similar to that, and then class C, which is commercial, and that one you can carry 26 pounds or less. Um, also, the endorsements that you want. So the main ones that you need, they're air brakes, combinations, and general, general knowledge. And then decide if there's any other endorsements that you want, such as tankers, or hazmat, and doubles, triples. If you're unsure, just kind of read over and see really decide like what you want to do you can always go back and add more endorsement and also hazmat endorsement is like for flammables they do get paid way more so that's something to look into if you're interested in that another main thing as far as driving is there's otr which is on the road people that are like they driving they're driving far pretty much or they're staying overnight at places and they pay for your hotel stay um, but you will be away from home most of the time or you can do regional which you're more local so it will depend on the kind of job that you get if you're local and the routes that they give you but I have heard that if you're a new driver they try to just offer you OTR so something to think about and also you have to look at companies that will hire drivers new drivers with no experience there are companies that do produce companies usually tend to so i would say it would be good to get your doubles triples you can also get a job at companies like ups and those Vehicles are not so big, but you still need your CDL in order to drive one of those. As far as schools, I would say that's more up to you on what school you want to go to. One of the big schools is called Western Pacific Trucking School, and they advertise that you can finish in four weeks, kind of guaranteed. So look into that. There are smaller schools that you can go to also.